creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. And if you're interested in following me on social media, those links are in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY that I filmed, I would say almost a year ago. And it was one that I never uploaded because it was totally Pinterest inspired. And it is for these bottles in back of me. I'm not gonna show you the bottles completely because none of you have completely seen these bottles. You've seen the tops of them and you've asked me, Kelly, what are those bottles in back of you? Do you have a DIY for them? And my answer is yes, but I've never uploaded it. And so several of you have said, can you please upload it because we'd like to see what you've done with them. And so that's what I'm bringing you today is the DIY on these bottles in back of me that is totally Pinterest inspired. I have done several versions of these bottles. One of them was identical to the version on Pinterest. And then this one was putting my own farmhouse twist on it. So let's jump to it and let me show you the DIY on these bottles in back of me using the bottles that you can get from the Dollar Tree or some recycled ones, your choice. For this DIY, I picked up four of these glass bottles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This is one of those DIYs that is perfect for any of those recycled bottles that you might have. To paint these bottles, I'll be using Krylon's Color Master. This is a paint and primer all in one, and I'm going with a matte white just for my base paint. If you wanna use an acrylic paint or a chalk paint, you can. I just feel like since I have this on hand, it's gonna be quicker just to spray paint them. Once I've got that base coat on the bottles, I'll be using this Folk Art Crackle Medium. This is one that you can get at Michael's, Joann's. It's about $7.99 a bottle, but if you use a 40 or 50% off coupon, you're gonna only pay about three to $3.50 for it. I'm gonna give each of the bottles a nice good coating of this crackle medium because I really love that crackled weathered look. And using this medium, you can really achieve that easily. You really wanna make sure that your bottles are good and dry. That crackle medium needs to cure before you move on to the next step. The next step, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of hazelnut. I'm gonna give each of the bottles a nice coating of this paint. You really don't want to go over your spots too much after you've applied the paint because it will ruin the effect of the crackle. And so depending on how heavy or how light you want your crackle effect, if you want it heavier, you're going to put a thicker coat of paint. If you want it lighter, you're going to really just put a light coat of paint over your base coat. My bottles are good and painted. They've got the crackle effect that I am absolutely loving. When you're doing this, you really want to pick the two colors you want and your base coat is really just going to be dependent on what you want to come through your top coat of paint. Now that I've got them painted, I'll be using this thicker jute twine that I picked up at Walmart. You can get a I think a one or a two pound spool for about $3.98 and it really goes a long way. It's worth the investment because I really love the look and the effect of a thicker craft cord or twine. And I'm just gonna add some of this to the bottle. I'm gonna wrap it just to give it a bit of character and just to add more to the bottle than just the crackle. And so I figured for this bottle, I would just wrap the center of it with this twine. I'm also gonna add a bit of this thicker craft cord to the top of the bottle right where the neck is as well. I'm gonna be adding some wood letters to these bottles. I picked up these whitewash letters at Walmart for 97 cents a piece. I also decided to add one of my twine flowers. If you haven't seen that easy to do tutorial on how I make my twine flowers, I'll leave that link in the description box below. And here we have the first bottle. I'll be spelling out the word hope using these bottles and the wood letters. When doing these bottles, I really wanted to be able to incorporate this craft cord slash twine into each of the bottles, but I didn't want to wrap them all the same because I feel like it would look repetitive. And so by taking six strands of this craft cord, I'm going to braid it and that there just adds a different look, but it's still incorporating the craft cord into the bottle. Using some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink, I'll be using this walnut stain and this tea dye color. I thought I'd distress this twine craft cord just a bit just by rubbing it over the ink pad, just to distress it, give it a bit more color so 
this craft cord stands out just a bit more on the bottles. And just by adding a bit of stain to it, it's really gonna help this craft cord not to blend in with the bottles too much because of the colors that I use to paint them. For this next bottle, again, I'm gonna start off by adding just a bit of the craft cord to the neck, the top here of this bottle. And at the base of the neck, I thought that this would be a good spot to add the braided craft cord. And for this one, instead of using the whitewashed wood O, I figured I'd make one of my twine flowers in place of it. Another way that I wanted to incorporate the craft cord into these bottles was by taking three strands of the craft cord and just tying a simple knot. Then taking and unraveling the craft cord. This is an easy, inexpensive way to add an embellishment really to any DIY that you're making if you want to incorporate twine or craft cord into it. And just by doing that, look at how cool that looks. I made two of these unraveled knots because I really like the look of them and I knew straight away that I was going to want to incorporate these knots into more than just one of the bottles. And again, sorry if I sound like a broken record, I wanted to distress these again using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink just so they don't blend in with the bottles. This Distress Ink is a Distress Ink that I typically buy at Joann's. I really don't know if it's one that you can get at Michael's, I've never looked for it there. They're about four or five dollars and if you use a 50% off coupon you can get these pads for about two dollars and a lot of times Tim Holtz items and products are on sale at Joann's so they are really reasonably priced in my opinion. For this third bottle I decided to go with adding a bit of the craft cord to the bottom of the bottle, the center and the top where the neck is. I only went around two or three times, just kind of wanted to switch up the design and how I was placing the craft cord on this bottle. With this one, I'll be adding the P and that was why I placed the craft cord where I placed it on this bottle. I'm also gonna add one of my twine flowers to the base of the neck. Loving how these are turning out. And finally, for the last bottle, I'm gonna add just a bit of the twine right here at the top of the neck of the bottle. And I figured I wouldn't add much more than this because I wanted to incorporate those knots that I had made. And so I'm gonna add the E to this bottle and the knot, and I think that we are done with these decorative bottles. Oh yeah, and we can't forget the twine flower on this one as well. It wouldn't be one of my creations unless I incorporated not one, but two, or maybe even three of my twine flowers. And that there is how I made these bottles that so many of you have seen in my videos and have asked me about. This really is an easy DIY and the outcome I think is absolutely gorgeous. You could spell out just about any word you want. You could put a name and this is such a versatile piece that it could really be done to suit any decor style. I love this style. I also made a set that was identical to the ones on Pinterest using a black matte paint. And the letters that I used were letters that I cut out using my Cricut and I went with some of these flowers that I picked up at Michael's. This was actually the one that inspired me to make the farmhouse set that I made with you today. And there you have the bottles in back of me that so many of you have been asking to see because you only see the tops of them. I'm sorry I never uploaded it. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial that was totally Pinterest inspired. I too do get inspiration from Pinterest and I do recreate some of the projects that I do see on Pinterest. I just don't upload them because I feel like it's not my creation and so I don't wanna be copying somebody else and not giving complete credit to whoever it is that originated the idea. And so whoever did originate this idea, which I don't know, I appreciate it. I loved it so much that I recreated it several times. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because each and every one of those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Bye.